I'm human. I make mistakes. And it seems I was wrong in some of my comments about the Anycubic Photon Mono M7 Pro. Biff. Pow. Zap. Clunk. Clunk. Ouchie. Hey guys. In that review, I made the following claim about the dynamic temperature control system. You see, in truth, even though this looks like resin flowing, it's not. It's just a graphic representation of heat, I guess. And these two elements, the heater and the pump, are independent with no actual intention to recycle and circulate the content. Now, I'm no stranger to being wrong. I'm a married man, and so I'm used to never being right about anything. But when it comes to my videos, I do try my best to get things as right as possible. However, a few days after this video released, one of my viewers got in touch and expressed concern that I was incorrect. And as this happened without any apparent collaboration with my wife, I took the matter seriously. I previously said that this heater doesn't circulate actual resin, but that the advertising video was merely a graphic representation of heat flowing around the tray edges. I based that assumption on the fact that I could see no holes around the edges of the tray to aid circulation. In the past, I have always lived by the notion that it never hurts to take a good long hard look at the backside, and on this occasion, I failed to do that. The evidence was there in the beginning. See these holes? Now I did try in vain to prove all of this by running the standard heating cycle, but in fairness, there was nothing much to see. So I emptied the resin tray out and flipped it over. This suggests that resin has come into contact with these channels around the edges of the FEB. Also, upon pressing the liner, it's clear that in places, the metal of the tray is not tightly in contact with the FEP, which could allow the resin to flow from these channels into the main area of the tray. To help prove this, and knowing that the resin I'd originally used was water-based, I added clean water to the tank. I then ran the heating system to see what would happen. Now I should also mention that there is in fact a cleaning circulation feature that achieves the same thing, and this just runs the content through the pump with a view of purging leftover resin. Straight from the off, I could see bubbles, something I hadn't noticed previously. And as the minutes ticked by, I was able to see visual evidence of water movement and eddies. So again, I was wrong. It's clear to me now that this is not just a heater, it's also a pump, and it does in fact circulate the resin around the tray. Though it obviously only does this during the heating cycle, I believe, so don't think for a moment that it's constantly mixing the resin to avoid settling. Which is actually a real shame, as that would be a useful feature. So I'd like to offer my apologies both to my viewers and of course any cubic, for any confusion my mistake has caused. However, if anyone is interested whether or not this changes my overall opinion of the M7 Pro, I'm afraid it doesn't. My resin pump still doesn't work, even though I invested a good hour of my time into tinkering with it before I made this video, just in case I'd been mistaken there too. But previously, I didn't like the tray because it was large, heavy and cumbersome. Now I don't like it for those same reasons, but I also feel it has a very awkward mixing system that will make it difficult to clean properly. It's always difficult to clean out the contents of any pipes, and I suspect cleaning here will never truly be effective, and I'd suggest contamination between various resins will in fact occur. Now, this may be fine in most cases, but if, like me, you have a $300 bottle of castable resin, you don't want anything contaminating and spoiling that. So I'm sorry to say my view of the heating system on the M7 Pro has now dropped considerably, as it seems heating only takes place through the resin. 
A simple standalone heater, like the one we saw on the M5S Pro, is far superior in my mind, and I would urge any cubic to return to that simple and basic concept. And that ends my confession, apology and correction video guys. If any of you have any questions on this issue, please don't hesitate to get in touch and I'll do my best to help. So take care guys, and thanks for watching.